Welcome to our PHP web course. In this video, I would like to show you how to start writing PHP code. PHP code is written inside an HTML document. Therefore, you need to make sure you know how to create a valid HTML document. And also, if you're adding content, elements, and CSS, you must make sure it is valid and structurally correct. An HTML document will have a .html file extension. However, once we add the PHP, the file extension will change. The PHP code is placed inside the PHP delimiters. In the PHP language, we have single line comments and multi-line comments. Notice that the multi-line comments are similar to CSS comments. So in your document, you very likely could have HTML comments, CSS comments, and PHP comments. So please learn the difference. When we add the PHP code to the HTML document, that file must be saved with a PHP extension so that the server recognizes it and executes the PHP code. There are two places to place the PHP code. If the PHP code is generating web page content, it goes inside the body tags, which is where all web page content belongs. However, if it is processing code, then it belongs on top of the HTML doc type. You do not clutter up the HTML document with code that does not need to be there. All processing code goes on top of the doc type. There are two ways to display output to the web page. One is the print statement. The other is the echo statement. You may hear these terms called statements, commands, or functions. They all do the same thing. We can use the print statement with or without the parentheses. We also can use the echo statement with or without the parentheses. For our purposes, these two statements are identical. However, there is a technical difference. The print statement accepts one argument and has a return value. This might be used in a function. The echo statement accepts multiple arguments and has no return value. I personally use the echo statement. However, you will see other people using the print statement. Again, they both do the same thing. If we were to use the echo statement to create our hello world, application here. There are four ways we could do this depending on whether we're using single quotes, double quotes, parentheses, or no parentheses. So I show you the four different ways. There is no difference other than saving character space between these four different syntax. You will probably be using double quotes for the majority of your PHP programming career. However, we will talk about the differences between single and double quotes later. Again, the parentheses are optional. On the right-hand side, you see that the output is all the same. I have created four hello world statements with the print statement, again, using the different quotations and with and without parentheses. And as you see on the right, the output is all the same. Any one of these formats works. In order to view a PHP file in the browser, it needs to be served from the web server. We are using the Apache web server, which comes with the XAMPP software package. So you need to access the XAMPP control panel and start the Apache web server first. You will then type in the word localhost in your web browser address bar. Localhost refers to your local computer. That will take you directly into the htdocs folder, 
which is the root of your web server. You can see all of the files and folders that come with the XAMPP application and also the files that you have created here. You do not want to create any files with the word index in them, such as index.html, index.php, because they will load automatically and prevent you from seeing your folder structure. So I commonly rename any default index files. Rather than typing in localhost in the web browser address bar, you can type in what is referred to as the loopback address. This is the IP address used for pinging your computer, 127.0.0.1. They both point to the same computer and they take you into your root folder, which is the htdocs folder, where your PHP files are located. So once you have accessed your htdocs folder from the web browser address bar, you will then choose the folder that contains the files you wish to look at. You can click on a folder to view the files, as you would do in Windows File Explorer or the Max Finder. When you click on the file, you will see that the output will be displayed in the web browser, and you can see in the address bar the name of the PHP file that you are looking at. If you look at the source code in the web browser, you will not see the PHP code. You will see the output of the PHP code. This is what the web server did. It processed the PHP and generated the content for you. You will never see PHP code in a web browser. Should you wish to see your PHP code, you need to open the file with an editor, and that file is located in the htdocs folder.